course, we have all the EXS24 that does all the other job. Um, Oh yeah, there's another guru actually. Sorry about that. The place is um congas or yeah. Ethnic. Yeah, ethnic sound. Gives a little bit of punch to the to the groove. Goes along very well with the bass part. Oh, well, let's let's just play the sequence first, which is I remember it's old strobe. Elements coming. This is this is actually a JP. Let's just jump to the drop, break drop. There's the typical trancey break, pads and melody coming up. All the pads are filtered down. Sorry if I read the spot. Uh, here I play with, with, with what I was talking um, previously about playing with the, with the psychology. So everyone is expecting here that the track to come in and everyone's ready to, to, to start dancing. But uh, I, I basically trick the, the listener here. And at the peak, I go back down again. And I grow again, so I create even more um, tension. Let's, let's put it that way. So basically, by, by doing what I did, uh, I think I think that uh, that second grade uh, helps making this this uh, 
find this part even stronger. Like, you know, you've been waiting for that part and I didn't give you. So I stop a little bit more and then when it comes it's it's really like it's really strong and it really gives you a lot of uh, And of course there's another drop um, and then the melody comes back and then it starts the proper trance. the end of the track it's uh, um seven minutes of track um probably a month and a few weeks of work and yeah i think yeah i think this this track it's this possible basically thanks to <laughs> all the expansion tool it was very great uh very easy to to, to wear with, with with those tools it helped me a lot I build the track from those um, from the the base that I that I show. So that was the starting point, which is usually not. Usually I just start from a from a melody and the pad line and stuff. Uh, but I had that that nice bass sequence, and I say, well, it would be cool to build a track around it. And so I had that that this bass. I build all the track, then I try to find some nice chords to put, and I put the melody, and the track was done. That's a pad that I use, uh, done with stroke. Yeah, it doesn't sound like strobe at all. Like you, you would never say it is, but it sounds a bit like amber, actually. Yeah, and um, it's very warm when you when you just wait um, when you just do the filter sweep. Like... So we can just like quickly grab the pad line. So let's call it stroke pad and quickly grab the pad line of this track. Let's 
be here. And this is this is completely clean. Like there's no, there are no FXs, and it Drop sounds pretty boot, pretty good. Sorry. Drop the bass line over the beat. Sure. Okay, the bass line is here. And it sounds very good. If we were to put send it to the main reverb, it's gonna sound even better. Maybe wait a second, we can even just put compressor and just put the side chain over it. We just lost one. we go how to make a pad with straw in five minutes <laughs> uh, so yeah just to show how how versatile it is just just straw but which is uh, which is not um, such a monster as, as cypher can be uh, but but it can be used for for everything so uh, a lot of people think that th this is just a, a base machine uh, but if you if you really get into it you, you, you discover that it's perfect for pretty much everything and you would you would never you would never think that this is good for pads, but uh, I was I was surprised. This is actually one of the best uh, synthesizers that I got for such a pad sound. Um, you you can detune it even more uh, to have a more um, kind of JP uh, sounding, uh, or you can take out the detune and you have uh, kind of more vintage analog sound at this detune point we have more jp kind of sound here it's more simple vintage but it's still it's it's really great